big <laughs> block around my face. Hi everyone, Marina here. So today we are awkwardly sitting on my couch. We've got Pascal here and we've got Ali here. Hi. You probably all know Ali, you've seen her. I think mine. I'm just around here. I'm just around here. Today we are doing. Books by the cover. Books by the cover. I stole the line. You stole the line. I've done this on my channel a few times, but now we've got Ali. Yeah, that's extra edition. And this is where we test for Scarl on his book knowledge by looking at some book covers. I normally, do, sense, I normally do very well, don't I? No. I just do perfect. <laughs> he gets a lot of them. Um, <laughs> the excellent. Ali, let's do yeah. the honors. You do the honors for the first book. We've got The Raven Boys. By looking at that cover for Scarl, what do you think this is? I'm sure about? everyone knows what this cover looks like. Oh. Yeah, otherwise. There we go. So we have uh, four people here. It's a boy group. It's set in Britain, like all where all boy groups are made, singers. Okay, that's what lovely to know. Yeah, their band is called the Crows. As you can see, the Crows over here have got like the big part of the book. The band are called the Crows. Even though it's crows got Island. Raven Boys in the yeah, front. even though that's a Raven. Yeah, we'll call it a Crow. It's pretty much a biography mm. about that's good to know. the Crows. Their life and their yeah. life. Yeah. What kind of music do they sing? Um, <laughs> folk, folk, British music. music. They would so they actually they probably would, would though. They yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's like a. I think I've described it very well. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's just like a fantasy paranormal mm -hmm. set in. Is it? Britain? No, it's in America. I can't remember what state. I read it so long ago, <laughs> I can't even remember it. What he says makes all the reason I know it's from now. It does. It's in Pennsylvania. I think it is something like that. Uh, I don't know. It's got like a crow though. It's got a weird, like, creepy feel to yeah. it. And they are searching for a Welsh king that's dead. Is there singing involved in this book? <laughs> no, but there should be. <laughs> you know how kings have got, like, people that like sing and dance? Yeah. yeah. I think they should change that. Like, they do look kind of like a boy band. You he looks like the rapper. He looks like Eminem or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Then you've got like One Direction. What's up to them? And Zane, because you know how he left the group? Yeah, he's he, flying he, away. He's, he's flying yeah. away. Yeah. He's the raven. He's the raven. <laughs> we have here today is Between the Lines. But looking at the cover, what do you think this book is about? This book is set in Melbourne and we have a lady on the front here which looks pretty sad, meaning she broke up with a boyfriend. Okay. She then moves to England. A lot of books are set over there. You know how you drive on a different side of the road? In they, oh, you don't in England. You don't? Oh. In Europe you do, but in England they drive on the same side. Okay. Let's change the setting. <laughs> she goes to Belgium. Why does she go to Belgium? Because there aren't enough books set in Belgium. There aren't enough books in Belgium. Oh, she does. She gets a hired car and she oh. doesn't know which line to drive in. You know how they drive on the other side of the road? Yeah, meaning between the lines. She doesn't know which line to go to. She, she drives in the middle, you know? It's in lines! It's lines! Oh my god! Oh, between god. the lines, oh. That changes it. Changes the book completely. Oh my god! Oh my god, that came out the wrong way. I'm sorry, between okay. the lights. You can tell I'm sick. Jessica breaks up with the boyfriend. But she's still driving in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's still in driving Belgium. in the middle of the road in Belgium. in Belgium. So pretty much that's the two lives, you know, between the lives. No. That Eurovision song. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and then she joins Eurovision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She goes to Belgium, she's driving in the middle of the road. I need to make something in my life, so she starts singing. <laughs> she goes on to um, oh, Belgium's Got Talent. They've got Simon Cowell there, because, you know, <laughs> he's, he's, he's everywhere. Belgium's Got Talent. He's uh, everywhere. Yeah. He's always everywhere. Jessica, you know, it wasn't that good, so we're not going to get you into, you know, America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. Belgium's Got Talent. Fights through hardship, getting a golden ticket into Eurovision. Then the plot twist happens, because every good plot twist in the book this is a, a plot twist, you know. This is a very detailed book, isn't it? I know. Wow. And then wow. It be, yeah, and then they start talking about Dami, the Australian singer that went into Eurovision. <laughs> and it just ends like that. You know this book was Dami. made ages ago before Dami Im actually went in Eurovision? No, no, it, it's a futuristic story oh. that became true. Okay. One is in Massachusetts, the other is in Boston. And it's the same it's girl, but she lives two different lives. So she wakes up one day in one place and then she has to live the exact same day in the other place and it's about her trying to get out. Does she age while she lives yeah. the lives? Okay. Yeah. In one so. of them she has a boyfriend, the other one she doesn't and 
people die and it's really sad. Alright. But we can compare Eurovision to this because it's really sad that there's a lot of killing <laughs> and dummy and lost. So yeah. that was yeah. pretty sad, it's wasn't pretty it? It's pretty sad for so, Australia. It is by yeah. an Australian author though. There we go. The farm. Now, the farm. Okay, I'm reading right this time. <laughs> the barn. <laughs> the barn. No, it's the farm. It's the barn. Um, by looking at the cover of the skull, what do you think yes. this book is about? This is a knockoff book to the uh, Red Riding Hood series. Yeah, I'll say that. It's set in a farm. She lives by herself there. Every now and so, she puts on this Red Riding Hood hoodie. When that happens, strange things appear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like... I get it. Yeah, okay. like three donkeys. Then it becomes all supernatural, the donkeys turn into people, they start killing people, aliens come from the sky, a prison, a death camp, a girl, the only hope, escape. Well, wouldn't you escape? <laughs> <laughs> but it's impossible to escape, you do realise in some YA books, characters can't really escape. Yeah, well, that's not good enough. They're not what trying hard enough. enough. They're not trying <laughs> hard enough. Do you know some of the impossible obstacles that characters have? No, but if they actually escape, people would get annoyed that it's not realistic. Yeah, exactly. True. Well, anyway, like... The donkeys take her to prison, and um, hence why she has to escape from all the donkey torture. They end up, oh they end up killing her. Image of this girl being actually tortured. Where's my donkeys? <laughs> so pretty much. What is this book actually about? Oh god, now I have to remember it. Donkeys. <laughs> it's straight up boring. donkey torture. I completely ruined this book. Imagine for me that's the next it's one. Kind of <laughs> It's like, um, yeah, she's in like a death camp and she's got a twin that's got, I don't know, she can't talk or something. Because of donkeys. <laughs> because of donkeys. She talks donkeys. she has this ability to control her. <laughs> to control... I can't <laughs> She and Mel are going to escape into the ravaged land outside. Mel's growing power might save the world. Or end it completely. But only Lily can protect Mal from what is to come. And the donkeys are coming for us. <laughs> because of the water. This I is suck at all the names. Yeah. The uh, fifth installment of the Fifty Shades of Grey Empire. There's a guy in what looks to be like a shirt and tie, sort of suit looking, businessy top. There's a girl wrapped around him. One thing I don't get thicker than water. They're in water though, so it's not thick. Um, <laughs> but then you find out that. Could pancakes have water in them? That'd be can I do? <laughs> oh, you know those, you know those instant pancakes? Yeah, yeah. But you the, shake them. Yeah, you put water in there, then you shake it. And then they become water. And that's thicker than water. So, so they become... runs a, pla a pancake empire. Yeah, he pretty much. Yeah. And one of the fetishes is going into stuff thicker than water. I've got a pancake empire sort of going on, <laughs> so we can make out in all the pancake mix. <laughs> they can do a sneaky skinny dip in there. This reminds me of like Krispy Kreme or something like that. You know when they make the <laughs> donuts or something like that? You know what goes on at night in Krispy Kreme. Oh god. Oh god. You just permanently ruined a car for me for I'm stopping there. Paranormal YA thriller. I would not have picked that from that. It looks I like thought it was a contemporary. Something we'll about like cops being jade by Kate Bell. Now, this is an exciting new voice in Australian fiction. What, what's, it's not shining. The book shows that this love is casting a very dark shadow. Pretty black here, so it's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty just dark got a face. shadow. Yeah, she's just got a face. So she hasn't been in the sun for a while because her face is that bright <laughs> in that shadow. <laughs> oh, it's a, she's a pale person. Yeah, or, or she might be an angel, you know, an angel light. Yeah. I'm an angel. True. Big death happens in the family. Her life becomes all dark. <laughs> she's falling on us. Was that a hint of what the book's about? Does she fall into. <laughs> She falls on people all she the time. She falls on people, yeah. <laughs> uh, she's got the ability to fall onto people. That's another sneak attack to kill people. You know how Batman is all silent and you go, Phew. No. So pretty much like that. And um, well, I'm, I'm just only reading that the truth can set them free. Pretty it's much. She says she falls, falls on, on people, people. Yeah. and that sets her free. And that sets her free. Like every time she falls on people, she feels good. Or, she, or she could go to the nearest cop shop. Her husband died? That's after, you know. After. No, actually, after. Yeah. He, he's, no, he's killed on the night he walks away from her. Still exists. As a... <laughs> Say so that when the casting shadow is there, like he's yeah, and then he's got around. like daughters, and he like gosh, he's yeah. following everyone, and yeah. then what one of creep. the daughters what a creep, like stalks her 
ex-boyfriend. This is a very the loved creepy way of thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. The so kid, basically, if the kid hooks so up away with from the, the ex-boyfriend, if the kid hooks up with the ex-boyfriend, the whole family, the whole family is set free. Jeez, that's mind-blowing. But she's only <laughs> ten years old, so it can't happen for a while, so they can't be set free. So that is the end of today's video. I'd like to thank Elliot Pascal for coming in. Um, Sassy's gonna wave. Hi, Miranda. This is Sassy. <laughs> this girl, that's Sally. And I hope um, this was an informative book review on all these books here. If you had thumbs, you could hold the book. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, Rishi's holding it. She's holding it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hashtag Piscanda Alleganda. Piscanda Alleganda, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>